Oh, you keep trying them. <laughs> you see that then? There we go. say about Need Hog, right? It's just, it's so famous, it's more famous than fame. Mm. And a lot, lot of people, <laughs> it was in the Expo in 2010, uh, Eurogame Expo 2010, and it took quite a while before it turned into a proper professional release. People couldn't even play it unless you were at the right venue. Oh, I think I missed it, you're a gamer. Oh, I was like, uh, before your time, Greg. Before we were even friends. <laughs> but it's just a fighting game, right? It's just a, a sword fighting game. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with it's a, a, a dueling of... game, isn't it? Uh, it's a power struggle as well with yeah. the screens. Um, but there's a lot of controls in a way. It's like, yes, there aren't too many controls. Two but buttons and the it's thumbstick. It's actually incredibly rich in terms yes, of the it is. what you can do. Absolutely. And I think that was uh, a real, that was hard for me. Uh, you'd already had lots of practice, so you were thrashing me quite a bit. But I did manage to pick up. That's a bit mad, that one. You don't know me, you're mad. Yeah, once you realised what the stab button was. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, oh, god, god, god. Oh, oh, come on. I love you, the sword. What's this? Down the, down the, down the, down the, down the, No, but to be fair, um, I, I was concerned that that would happen because I, I've obviously played it um, a fair bit uh, with friends when they popped over. And I know I remember the first time we all played it together. Um, I think we played it for 75 minutes according to Steam and it paid for itself in that time because we just laughed so much, so much. Like we were all hurting from laughing so much because in your dog, you've got the two guys, both got a sword each and whoever kills uh, the other player has power to move and uh, progress forwards. <laughs> Aim is to try and get past the final screen and get gobbled up by Nidhogg. But if the other player stops that player, then they get power to then start shifting back. So there's this constant push pull. And uh, it And on some of the games that we played, we were getting right to the end of the final screen, like just just before you'd walk off. The other player, the defending player, would get the power back. Then they'd have this sort of rage, this desire to push forwards, and then they'd get back, they'd push the other player all the way back onto the fi their final screen. It gets a bit exhausting when, because you're constantly on, there's not much, there's no downtime in that game. You're, it's stab, stab, jump, jump, get, oh, throw sword, pick up sword. Yeah. You know, and the only time you get downtime is when you get killed. The thing that a lot of people um, sort of talk about when, uh, when they're uh, talking about Nidhogg is the sort of fluidity. Of the movement, um, it feels nice. It feels really nice to sort of quickly throw your sword, jump up in the air and do a dive kick at them, roll along, leg sweep them, and then break their neck on the floor. And then as you're running, you do a cartwheel, pick up your sword, and then keep running. And and you can do all this in the in a, in a, you know split second. Yes, you can, Greg. You can do this. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I was like throwing my sword and cracked you down on the fl floor and then I couldn't get up again. <laughs> I can't get up. Jump, uh, jump, jump. Okay. Yeah, and it's a really, really great game. And there's only four maps, but those there's four enough maps, in them, yeah. Yeah, there certainly is enough. So, so yeah, while you got hammered, um, it was still good fun. I, I can remember Need Hog, but it requires some practice, I think. Yeah, definitely. And definitely it's a very fast action game. If you yes. don't like that, don't play it. No. Oh. <laughs>